What's up? My name is Eric Butler. This channel is called Report and Opine. I am back. And from KTVU Fox 2 News, Mayor Shang Tao's vehicle among those broken into near Oakland's Grand Lake Theater. So the mayor of Oakland had her car broken into while she was watching a Steph Curry documentary at the famous Grand Lake Theater in Oakland. And this used to be a pretty decent area, like Piedmont. It wasn't always disgusting, except for the last time I was there, there was a huge piece of human feces at the bus stop right outside the theater. So that's how badly things have devolved in recent years. But they say Mayor Shang Tao's vehicle was among those broken into Thursday night near Oakland's Grand Lake Theater. KTV has learned the break-ins happened while the mayor attended the SF film opening night screening of Stephen Curry, underrated. Oakland Police Department on Friday said they were investigating multiple auto burglaries in the area. The film screening started at 6.30, so it was probably still light, but these people do not care. And we recall it wasn't that long ago that right across the bridge in San Francisco, a CNN news crew had their car broken into while they were reporting outside the car and they had security. But these people just do not care. And it doesn't really matter that the mayor can even feel this hit very close to home. Nothing will happen. I can almost guarantee it. She's not going to say, all right, we need to start cracking down. We need to start doling out consequences. We need to start throwing the book at people. It's never going to happen. They've come too far. They can't go back now. They, their only choice is to let all of these cities devolve into absolute nothingness until people actually start to wake up and vote for something different. And that's if you believe that voting is even real because this establishment has their boot on the neck of everybody. Right. So even if if everybody decides, OK, we are going to vote Republican this time, that establishment will still find a way to tell you that they won and everybody likes them. They've come way too far. They've had the control for far too long. I was trying to figure out the last Republican mayor of Oakland, and I believe it was in the 60s or 70s. I got conflicting articles. Some like one one chat bot says that he was a Democrat and the other one says he was, a, I, I don't know, it's a complete mess. The point is, it's been a very long time. And for every single one of those years, it's only gotten worse. When, when was the last time that you heard a, a great, a, a good upbeat story out of Oakland, California, and how things are, are going in the right direction? It's only chaos. It's only crime. It's only murders. That's all you ever hear about. Police said this is an active investigation and nothing will happen. They're not going to find anybody. And even if they did, they would let them off the hook in a second because we can almost guarantee that they're going to be black. The mayor has been dealing with an ongoing data breach rant and ransomware attack that is um, that has since February affected city employees. Oakland's police officers union filed suit against the city on behalf of its officers. So it's a complete mess. The police officers are filing a suit on behalf. I mean, this is, I mean, nothing's going to get done. And this woman, she's a, clearly a diversity hire. She's not going to fix the problem. She's going to say some platitudes and even has her own car gets broken into. She's going to toe the line because she knows, and we saw it. Well, let me step back for a second. She knows that if she even tries to fix the problem, she will be screamed and shouted down and called a racist. We saw Mayor London breed right across the bridge, who is incredibly corrupt. Somehow she flies under the radar, right? She's dancing at a Tony, Tony, Tony concert while telling you, you should stay at home. But that's a different story. Of course, I digress. But when she pinpointed the, the, the purveyors of the drug problem, the catalyst of the open air drug market in today's San Francisco as Honduran immigrants, she was immediately called a racist. So when you even, when you even get close to, you get close to even identifying the problem. Not like she's going to fix it. I mean, she's light years from fixing it. But if she gets too close to even identifying it, then they're going to call her racist. So this woman who is Asian, and we know that the Wokies, de depending on the day, aren't going to like the Asians. I'm just saying. It's just a fact, right? They want to claim stop Asian hate all the time. But when they see who's committing all these crimes and who admittedly say they are targeting Asians they back off, right? It's kind of like monkeypox, right? Oh, it was it was basically a badge of honor and you don't get to stigmatize these people till two kids and a dog get it, then it goes away completely, right? So they're talking about stop Asian hate until mm, we see who's doing it and then they stop talking about it. So with that said, I just wanted to bring this up, right? So, so we don't forget, it was less than a month ago that right across the bridge in San Francisco, 
a CNN crew had their car broken into. I believe I made a video about that a long time ago. And while that's all happening, unrelated but kind of related, Oakland Coliseum possum droppings forced Mets announcer to move broadcast booths. So this is how disgusting it's all gotten. The mayor's car is getting broken into. A news crew's car is getting broken into. And when you try to step away from all of it and, and watch a little bit of baseball take a load off, the, the stadium is so disgusting that the announcers can't even do their job from the booth. And, and, and they want us to believe that, look, I, I'm, I'm the last person on the planet that's going to applaud the Republican establishment, but you got to do something. Something needs to change. And we know that, unfortunately, you're not going to vote these people out. It's just, it's, they're too dug in. The people have been so brainwashed that the idea of even entertaining another political leadership is immediately deemed, deemed racist means they've already won. They don't have to do anything. The great Nancy Pelosi once said, you know, a glass of water with a D on it could win in my district. And that's where we've come. And they've, got, they've done a good job. You have to applaud them for brainwashing these people so heavily that they can't even tell they're voting constantly against their own best interests. But thank you for watching. Please like, comment, share, and of course, subscribe.